the BBC's Katya Adler has highlighted why Germany has refused to export weapons to Ukraine amid war fears with Russia. Since late 2021, Russia has amassed more than 100,000 troops along the border of Ukraine, prompting the US, UK and NATO allies to send their support. However, Germany has refused to allow a NATO ally to export weapons to Ukraine. Earlier in January, Germany blocked Estonia from exporting German origin weapons to be exported to Kiev. Speaking to the Wall Street Journal, a German government spokesman said the impasse results from a long-standing policy regarding arms exports to tense regions. He said, the principle governing arms exports is always the same, whether they come directly from Germany or from third countries, and no permission has been issued at this stage. It is not possible to estimate the outcome of the process at this moment. Ms. Adler noted in a Twitter thread Germany is still deciding whether to allow Estonia to export German-made weapons to Ukraine. She said, adding to my Germany-Russia-Ukraine thread below, German government is still deciding whether to grant NATO ally Estonia permission to export German origin weapons to Ukraine. German foreign min said, our restrictive position is well known and is rooted in history, i.e. WW2. It came after Christine Lambrecht. German defense minister said, Berlin plans to send a field medical facility to Ukraine. Speaking on Sunday, Ms. Lambrecht said, a complete field hospital will be handed over, including the necessary training, all co-financed by Germany to the tune of 5.3 million euros. However, she said arms transfers to Ukraine were not an option and added, weapons deliveries would not be helpful at the moment, that is the consensus in the federal government. Andrei Melnik, Ukrainian ambassador to Germany, has repeated his calls for more defense aid, saying Kiev urgently needs 100,000 helmets and protective vests for the volunteers who are just signing up for the military to defend their homeland together with the armed forces. He added, the seriousness of the situation demands an immediate rethink and change of course from the German coalition government on the issue of arms deliveries to Ukraine. 